reflections on that? Yeah, frustrating game, mate. Uh, I thought at times we played really well and then we made some elementary mistakes, made some individual mistakes. They kept on inviting them back in the game, you know, and then in the end it was a you kick a penalty goal, we kick a penalty goal. They got the intercept try, which gave, gave them a bit of breathing space. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's hard to put your finger on it. But it's a great opportunity for us now because we're under the pump a bit, which is good, and I think we'll respond really well. So I'm looking forward to it. How concerned are you a year out from the World Cup? Not at all, mate. Not at all. Because I reckon we play that game, I don't know, a hundred times, and maybe the result's not going to be the same. How do you ensure confidence doesn't take the hit? Oh, we don't have to worry about confidence, mate. Confidence is about repeating things well. You know, and we did enough good things out there. We did some silly things, um, but we can get those out of the games. And sometimes that happens when you try too hard. You know, as I said in the lead up to the game, I thought our attitude and our determination to be to be the best team we can be is really good. And sometimes that manifests itself in trying too hard. What well, did you make of the attacking performance? Uh, yeah, we, we've got to tie it up a bit, but we made enough line breaks to win probably two games. Um, but we didn't finish them off, which is uh, an area we can always improve on. Any issues with the Argentinian try, uh, the second Argentinian try? Oh, look, I don't get involved in that, mate. Um, he made the decision. But, you know, when you throw a pass and it goes that far behind, you know, the best players in the world don't generally do that. Um, so there's probably something else that's happened. But you don't argue with the... Don't argue, mate. No, not at all. Thanks. Anyone else? Eddie, from the point of view of learning from the mistakes you made in the game, what do you learn from what you don't know uh, at this point that you didn't know before? Right now? Um, well, I think we're seeing a pattern in games of rugby at the moment, like watching all the games yesterday and today... I don't know how many were decided by one point or three points. And nearly every possession now is finishing in a penalty. Nearly every possession is finishing in a penalty. So we've got this really stop-start game that the referee's having a massive influence on. And when the ball's in play, you've got to play with such intensity and such execution to get the most out of it because the next play is going to decide in the penalty. If you get a run of penalties, then you're in a good position to score points and you've got to be able to score points. Uh, we had a blister. Um, so that affected his gait a little bit, but, uh, you know, he's a bit sore from the blister, but we're, we're not overly concerned at this stage. We may be tomorrow. Not really, mate. Is that too many penalties to concede in the test matches? Uh, well, yeah, now we're getting up to 30 penalties a game. Yeah, that's the reality. Most test matches now are around 30, um, which is, what, 33 and a third percent increase on what it used to be. Um, and we want to be better in that area. But look, when I look at it, I look, is it a, is it a structural issue, i.e. something, a system we've got in place that's causing us to make errors, or is it an ind individual decision-making error? And if it's individual decision-making error, we've got to go to the individual, reconstruct a good habit, and and deconstruct his, his bad habit. And sometimes that takes time, mate. So you think it's largely individual errors? Well, what I, what I saw today, unless I was at some other game, I think it generally was. And on the same point you asked Owen, is that a mental thing as well as... Well, I, just, I think I just said it's a habit, mate, that we need to change, and, and over time you change those habits. Um, it's like if you get up in the morning and you don't brush your teeth and your wife keeps on telling you, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, then she rewards you with something after breakfast. I don't know what it would be. But uh, then, then you start brushing your teeth every day. Like, and, and again, we'll get, we'll get the change in behaviour, but it'll just take time. Uh, yeah, no, no. Look, I'm not sitting here 
um, thinking we've got we've got really strong problems within the team. If we didn't go out there today, and for most of the part, I thought we dominated the game. If we didn't go out there and dominate the game, then I might be sitting here thinking these blokes have got, you know, they've got good rights to get stuck into us. Um, and then we'd have a bit of a fight. But I don't need the fight today because I feel like the team went out and played how they wanted to play. But, but we made some silly mistakes. Um, and we can change those things pretty easy. They're all controllable. No, no real big structural issues with our game. Yeah, we allow, we all, you always want to have more patent attack. Always want to have more patent attack. Um, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't go like that and sometimes it takes a bit of time to get right. And obviously, just a word on Michael Checker, you know, going you know, very well. It's a, it's a big win for him and, and for them, isn't it? Yeah, no, really good, really pleased for him. Uh, as I said, I want to see him do well, but not today. He offered me the job as Lebanon assistant coach for the next World Cup, so I don't have to worry about my next job, I'm right. <laughs> Yeah, for a young guy, he did really well. For someone who's hasn't been near international rugby, I thought he acquitted himself really well. He's got a, he's got a big engine on him. He, he's got good good uh, capacity to play long periods of time. He works hard in attack. He's got a he's got ability to find a bit of space. He got through a couple of times, and he's he's courageous in defence. So you know, there's some really nice things about him. Apart from man who's list, uh, everyone come through on skate. Yeah, it was a funny sort of game, wasn't it? Because um, there was sort of a, a dullness around the game and the, the physical con I don't think there was one head high issue, was there? Zero. So it was a really different sort of game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, there wasn't any yellow cards. So I'm, maybe Brace is giving himself a yellow card in the, in the dressing room now. So it was a really different sort of game like that. Um, and it wasn't a, a high. Uh, energy output type game so as far as we know everyone's right mate Eddie I know you said you're not concerned looking forward to the World Cup there inevitably will be some supporters who are what would be your message to them that they, why they don't need to worry yeah well World Cup's 11 months away mate a lot happens in 11 months as a lot can happen in a week and away we go That for a pass. Execution to perfection. The All Blacks lay down the challenge. And the skipper has scored. Sand caves it. Desperation dive. Oh, and it's